Hello everyone! In this video we're going to have a look on how to make a color variation map in Maya to use in Substance Painter. So usually you would have this AI switch setup using a color jitter set to object and using it as the index for the AI switch. As I have my mesh combined, this won't work. And separating the mesh, now I have the control to create this variation map, controlling it with the color jitter again. This works great if you're doing the color variation inside Maya, but not if you want to do it in, in Painter. Because if you bake the selection now, it will create a bunch of different files which isn't really manageable and the best approach. And of course, if I combine the mesh to bake into a single file, I won't have the variation any longer, since it's being driven by the object ID. So what can we do? The solution I found was using vertex colors. Let's separate the geometry again, assign a Lambert and apply vertex colors under the mesh display menu. In order, in order to render vertex colors in Arnold, we need to use the user data color node and load the color set. You can get the color set in the color set editor under the mesh display menu. Now we can combine the mesh and if we do a render it won't show the vertex colors by default. We need to enable export vertex colors in the Arnold tab. Right, now we need a way to create some variation and for that I created a script with, with the help of the internet that divides the geometry into different groups according to the amount of variation percentage we set. First we need to separate the geometry, but we can combine it later. Now select the geometry and run the script until you're happy with the results. You can also change the percentages. Finally we can combine the geo, enable export vertex colors and it should render fine. It also makes sense to use a utility shader set to flat to bake the texture. Now we can use the render to texture feature to bake the map. And we have the variation map created ready to be used outside Maya. Now in substance I loaded the file into the ID map. And if I go through each layer, I have used the ID map to add subtle U, saturation and value changes to the layers, using the color selection feature. These are just temporary textures, I still need to work on them, but at least I was able to create the workflow to add color variation to the rock wall. I can now export the textures and do a test render in Maya. And this is it, hopefully this can be useful for you too, and you can use it in a future project. Thank you and see you next time.